To fully use the UiPath Action Center, I click Manage Packages, click All Packages, and then I'll search for Form Activity Library. What this does is that it present a form to the person that will handle the item that we create here in Studio. And what we will do today is to do a claim expense of an employee, and then the manager will approve in a form like this. We'll also need the persistence package. What this does, it support long running activities. And we'll use that because imagine that an employee claim an expense, it could go a lot of time before the manager will actually approve. Finally, go to project, click this little wheel here, make sure that supports persistence is clicked to yes, I'll click OK. We'll take our input into input dialogs. You could choose to make a form and make it much more nice. So for simplicity, we will just call this name. And here I'll say, please fill in your name. Then in the value entered, press Control K and give it a name. This will store the input in name variable. Finally, I have the other one here. I'll call this one claim expense. Here I'll say, please fill in your um, expense amount. And again, I'll save this to a variable. So press Control K and I'll say amount. Now we have our input, I can try to run it. This is really, really simple. This is just two input dialog like we used a lot of times before. So I'll say Anders, and then I want to say 125. I'll click OK, the flow will end there because there's no more activities. Let's send this to a manager to approve in the automation cloud. So here, I want to create form task. Drag this one in. Here it is the title. And since this is for the manager, we will say approve expense. The task priority, that is medium, but we can choose low, medium, high, or critical. I just go with medium, that's fine for us. The form data, if I click these three dots, that is the data that comes in and out of our form. And we will send in a name and amount and then we'll get an approved amount out. So I'll create a name for my arguments. Since these are incoming, I'll say in name. The value that will be control space, we'll sa we save that in a name variable. Similarly, we will have an in amount. This one will also be incoming and this will correspond to our amount. Then we will have an approved amount going out. So I'll say out, approved, amount, the direction that will be out. And over here, I'll press Control K, and then we'll call this amount. Why this is beneficial here, we have an error, but we'll click OK. When we come back, this has disappeared. Why this is beneficial is that when we open up the form designer, the UiPath form designer automatically create the name, amount, approved amount, and the submit button. We can see these two are great. That is because that is incoming arguments. It is just pr data presented to the user. But the out approved amount, that one can be changed. So this is white. Go up here, click edit. I just want a little bit of a nicer arrow, uh, label. So I'll call this name. Call this in amount. And I'll call this approved amount. Maybe I can also have a space here. And uh, that will look like this. So now this is nice. Then we also want an approve button. So let's change this a bit by clicking the wheel. Here I want to say approve. This is of the type submit. This means that when this button is clicked, the form is submitted. And uh, what action has been taken that will be to click on here will be saved in a variable called task action. So I'll go to field key. And right now, this uh, field key is named submit. I want to describe what's going on. So I'll pick approve and I'll click save. We can also choose to send this to a director. I take another button. I'll call this send to director. Here you can see this is also of the type submit. So if I go up here and since I'm true to my naming convention, I'll just change this and I click save. 
So now we are um, uh, finished. I can click uh, preview and then you'll see my form. I click exit. Remember to save it and close it. The task object. Here we will save what we have created so we can refer back to it. So control K, I'll just call this variable task object. Now, so this, this one is created in the automation cloud. Now we just need to wait for an answer. So I'll find a wait for form task and resume, drag it in here. The task object, that is this object up here. So control space, find the task object. We'll create a task action. And that's what, that uh, locks whatever the manager has pressed that could either be approved or sent to director. So control K, task action. Now we will have a value in this task action. And we will use that to um, do two different things, whether or not it has clicked on approved or sent to director. To evaluate on this, we need either a, an if or a switch. I prefer the switch because then we can easily add more buttons. The expression up here, control space, that will be the task action. Go to properties, make sure you change this to a string. Now we can add in the two cases. First one is approve. And the second one is send to director. This corresponds to the two field keys that we gave. And up here, we will have a message box. So let me just find that one here. I'll drag it in. So what I will say here is that I'll say, hey, then I'll say name. So we'll make it a little bit personalized. You got, and let us just uh, do it real nice. And here we'll have the approved amount. Plus, and we'll say approved out of your claim of. And then uh, maybe we'll have a dollar sign again. And then we'll have the original amount. Yeah, so that is the first message box. Then we also need a message box if it's sent to a director. Go in here and I'll just say, hey. And again, I can have the name. And I'll say plus. And here, I'll say, we'll get back to you in three days. So now we are finished with our flow. If you like me that runs in another folder, then you need to do one last thing in the create form task. Orchestrator folder path, we'll need to specify our orchestrator fold. So I'll say ortho ethic in quotation marks. That is because that's my folder name and I'll click OK. To test it, click debug. This action center flow runs in best in an unattended way. So I'll be filling in Anders. Then I want to have an expense of 10. I'll click OK. Our automation goes into a suspended state. Now open up a browser, navigate to cloud.uipath.com, go down to actions. In the inbox, unassigned, let me just click here. You, we can see we have it here. Then we'll need to assign this to ourselves up here. We could have specified that in the flow. Now it's in pending and I can choose to approve the full amount or a part of it. Let's be nice and approve it. So I'll click here, I complete, and the action is complete successfully. Now when I go back to UiPath and click resume, you'll see that, hey Anders, you got $10 approved out of your claim of 10. And similarly, if I try to debug it once more, Anders, chosen another name of course, and then we will just have another expense. Let's have it 200, click OK. We go into the suspended state. Now, if I go over to the unassigned, you can find it here. You can also, if you have a lot of them, I could uh, just mark them, assign to self or even delete them. Now, uh, since I don't, the, the manager doesn't know, so he sends to the director, he completed. it. Then we go back to UiPath and resume our flow. This is just a demo. The action center flows needs to be run in an unattended way. Click this video to learn all about the Action Center features and parameters and how to send it into production.